Let's chat about one of the greatest tools ever invented for studying things geographically. A tool not only used by geographers, but by oceanographers, biologists, historians, mathematicians, and others. And that is a GIS, or a Geographic Information System. Let's take a GIS and study the novel that we just talked about, The, the Last Great Auk. One of the things that comes to mind right at the beginning is what starts the novel and what ends the novel, and that is LD Island. Where is LD Island? At a large scale? What was the topography of that island? Why is it so difficult for those hunters at the end to get up onto the plateau and also for the great ox to actually get up and onto the top of the island? What about at a small scale, zoomed out, in the context of the North Atlantic Ocean? Why was this place so special to the great ox? Also, we could study the migration route. Where is Greenland? Where is Labrador? Where is Massachusetts? And where is the coast of the Carolinas? All these things can be studied. One of the fascinating parts of the novel is when one of the birds goes, strikes off to the southwest amidst some protests from the others in the, in the flock. Why are you going to the southwest? Well, if they hadn't done that, they would have added three days to the journey because of the topography of Cape Cod. So they had to strike out over, over open water to the southwest. So there's lots of things in here. Migration routes of other fish, which were important. Um, to the birds, the great ox, that dined primarily on fish, the ocean currents, the climate, where people were found in the novel and where they weren't found, so population. We could study all kinds of things, climate, biosphere, the atmosphere, uh, ocean currents, and so on. All this can be studied in a geographic information system. A geographic information system can be used in two dimensions and in three dimensions. Three dimensions is quite fascinating to be able to look at the topography of some of these islands and lands that the Great Auk migrated from and to. All right, so let's take a look at ArcGIS Explorer. This is a 3D virtual globe meets GIS program. So let's say we want to explore off the southwest peninsula in Iceland. We know that this is where the Great Ox had their their homeland. This is where they migrated to every year. So taking a look at the surrounding area we can see quite a bit of detail on the ocean bottom. We see that LD Island or LD Rock as it's sometimes called is uh, actually a, an island that's on a ridge off of the southwest coast of Iceland. And now we're basically migrating as the great ox migrated oh, with, in the comforts of our own homes and offices but uh, the Great Auk migrated down, as you can see, past Greenland, past Newfoundland, went ashore fairly often, as we read in the novel, but then uh, had its uh, other seasonal home over here off the coast of North Carolina. So this is, this is a long ways, it's thousands of kilometers uh, in an annual migration. So let's change the base map now from a oceans topography slash topography on land map to a satellite image map so we can get a good idea of why the great ox might wanted to, might have wanted to migrate to the to the shore here uh, off of the coast of North Carolina. It's a area that a lot of fish were found. Uh, this is an area rich in biodiversity. It's a series of barrier islands, lots of plant and animal life here. So maybe this is one reason why the great ox uh, actually migrated down here for, th for the winter. And then in the summer, they would migrate back up to Iceland. Why do you think it didn't uh, happen that they wintered in Iceland and summered in, the, in North Carolina? Again, geography as modeled through a 3D GIS called ArcGIS Explorer. Also, uh, things can be added or layered in a geographic information system. Also, we can, we can measure distances in a GIS. We can figure out how much the, uh, uh, how, what the distance of this last family of great ox migrated from and to. Also, we can figure out populations. We can, um, we can change the map scale so we can understand the size of Greenland a little bit better. So lots of things we can do inside a geographic information system to study this novel, but also other novels.